The final bout of the evening is a super bantamweight clash between Lennon Fisco of Wigan and Yin Casado of Colombia. Six threes. You have been doing show you. Number one. Let's go with the white shorts. Casado the black shorts. Golden red trim. So this this is another one of fights on paper. It should be a bit of a tough contest for Lennox Lithgow. Yeah, he's in 11 pro fight tonight, Mike. He won nine, lost one. Casado, he's only 23 years of age. He's 38 from his mountain tonight. He's won 10, lost 23, drawn four. Made his debut in December 2021. He only lost one out of his first, sorry, he lost one out of his first fit, six. Last time out, he beat debutants, Josh Dutley. Knocked him out in the third round of four. May this year. Yeah, I think Nutley was uh, debuting that night, I think, yeah, and um, he's a little bit out of his depth with Calciado. As we know, these Colombian guys, obviously, they come over here to earn some, some money, a lot more than what they get back home, and um, they are tough customers. And some of them can actually have a fight. Right, let's just go for the Blundell camp. Always comes to have a fight. 21-year-old. I like his style. Nice backhand catch him right in the cheek there of uh, Casado. Referee for his final bout, Jamie Kirkpatrick. This fight was originally made for the vacant RBO Continental Super Bantamweight Championship, I think. What not happened, sure. Mike? I'm not sure. Um, well, we're back down to a six-rounder. Round two, schedule six. Just to correct myself, uh, comment on the previous round, it, I don't, it was uh, Lennox actually fought for the vacant IBO Continental 
Bank of Week title last time out. So, but it was that this contest was actually scheduled for a ten round. But again, I'm not too sure. Nothing was confirmed. Why it's back down to a six. Casado in his 12th fight of 2024 has been really busy. Come over there. The fighting regular. Looks fit. Gas looks good. As I say, some people, you know, have to, have to take it the way of journeyman. There's a lot more people taking that way, that route now, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Got to sell any tickets, regular income. And as long as you, you know, as long as you, like you said before, you, you've got to be a half decent boxer to be a good journeyman anyway and earn some decent money. You put up a good performance, give your opponents a good test and uh, you'll always be welcome back. Now getting to work. Sado there, good showing that good head movement, good footwork, good footwork. Changing from orthodox to southpaw and back again. Good job by Lithgow. Nice slip and counter though by the, the Colombian. Nice work there by Lefko. After a quick counter attack by Casado. Hotting up nice in this fight. As I said earlier, Leonard Fisco is 11 pistol out and he's only 21 years of age. I'm rating myself as one of the prospects to look out for. Was very composed for a lad of 21. Yeah, he's certainly looking relaxing there tonight, Lennox. He's not rushing, he's, you know, we obviously have a game plan tonight and he's uh, working out fine so far. Yeehaw! Boom, boom, shake the room. Round three. I was just, you know, before the end of the second round, I was just saying, like, this goes and he's. 11 press out at 21. Yin Casado in his, his 38th professional out at the age of 23. Yeah, so obviously, you know, Lennox is a prospect, it's, it's slow progress. You obviously can't be fighting every month, you know, they've got to be. He's got to get his training right, you know, the, the uh, what's the word, the, you know, get the, get the camp right, everything's got to work, you know, the learning stuff. It's not really ideal to be fighting every month, you're not going to learn your trade that way by rushing stuff. White guys with wild shots there. That's a lovely right hand by Lift Goal. You could see the legs went a little bit on Calcedo. He's nodding his head, but I think that first right hand did rock him a little. The legs did go a little bit. Yeah, I agree, Mike. I think Lennox just needs to push it, put it on him a little bit now and see, you know. Back his flag, he's way out of trouble there. Yeah, I just think Lennox let him off the up there. Got to 
Good ball on that through the middle. And I think Lennox, Lennox knows, I think he can get to him now. He's just a, a staying patient. Let Calcedo make some mistakes. Six. Super Bantam weights, Lennon Fisco from Wigan, Ian Casado, originally from Colombia. Referee for this, Jamie Kirkpatrick, pretty much redundant, had a lot to do. Let's go a little bit busier, Mike, myself. Yeah, I think it's just, it's just been a steady three rounds. Um, you know, he's having a lot of success. Not sure whether he's saving it for the, you know, the, the last couple, the latter end of the fight. Just round this one. One bell shot, you're waiting too long. Totally agree. Yeah, I think he's allowing Calcedo to get on the front foot and uh, back him up. This is definitely South American's best round. Cutting up now. Great shot there by left go. Seems like the legs have gone a little bit again there. I think Lennox needs to step on. And again, Lennox. Say it all been on. That's good, that's more like it. Don't wait anymore. Needs to walk the tempo again here. Definitely hurt Casado. And again, great shots, back and left up. Seems to recovered though. Yeah, I think I think left goal just gave me a little bit too much time there. Let him have you up a little bit there. Just to reiterate, Lee, what you said before, um, two rounds to go, so I'd like to see, Len see Lennox, you know, stepping up a little bit now, step on the gas a little bit. Last two rounds, the fit kids from uh, Blundell's gym, so um, I, I, I can't see him having a problem if he steps it up a little bit here now. Shots the body there. Missing wildly to say Every Blundell fight does a great job.
Lee Brandel saying again, you're waiting too long. Totally agree. Need to step it up. Round five here. It's obviously four rounds up anyway. According to myself and Mike. And all for you guys watching at home too. The final fight of the evening in the VIP, VIP promotions here at the hideout in Farnworth. Bolton, Lancashire. And seven competitive bouts tonight here. Put on by VIP promotions. Do you know, I think, I think if Lennox steps it up a little bit here now, he could make a bit of a statement in this fight tonight. Seems to be just coasting a little bit at the moment. The time's slipping away now, Mike. I was about to say that, the fight, you know, the fight will just run away from him and uh, I think he could impress a little bit more. He's doing a fantastic job, by the way. It's not, it's, it's not a negative. He just, I think he, just could, he could step on the gas. Yeah, I agree, Mike. He's capable of much more than this, I think. He's sensing her over a little bit. I'd like to open it and show us what he's got, show the fans what he's got. New people out there, fans of his, you know. Hope it's going out nationally. Say no time to uh, showboat now. Boom, shit around the sixth and final round, box of two gloves. Lennon Smith go come on the red corner. And Yin Sado come on the blue corner. An international super bantamweight clash. Was scheduled for ten. Reduced to six. Yeah, I think the uh, referee's been pretty much redundant in this fight tonight. There's not had much to do, which is uh, nice to see. Very clean fought fight, honest fight, but again, it's competitive. Entertaining, a lot of quality in there. Still good work by Lithgow, but I would like to see him up a little bit. Yeah, just that there, you know, he has that little bit of success there, he just needs to uh, up it there. Bundell in the corner trying to give Lithgow a little bit of encouragement to push forward, to push on. We're just going up a cut there. I know it's back to say though. Just that there, you know, a single left to the body, you could have doubled that up, you could have threw the right hand over the top. I think we just expect him to do that a little bit more than he's doing at the minute. You know he's capable. Six round there. You can see though, just a little bit of showboat and showing off. Got that 60 to 54. You can see though, lives to fight another day. Don't even look tired. Looks in good nick. 
Probably going to have a few rounds there looking at him. Just waiting for the verdict to be read out by MC Stephen Reid. Thank you all for tuning in tonight to VIP TV. Hope to see you again very soon. Much thanks. Myself, Lee Top of Wired and Mike Action Gormley. So we'll just wait for the decision and we'll see you all soon. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.